ओके वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन सो नाउ लेट रिज्यूम वेयर वी हैव एंडेड सो वी जस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट द पैटर्न इंडियन परस्पेक्टिव देन लास्टली वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द फैक्ट्स ऑफ इंडियन पैटर्न सीनारियो वी हैव ट्वेंटी ईयर्स प्रोटेक्शन इन इंडिया फॉर अ पैटर्न वी कैन फाइल प्रोविजनल एप्लीकेशन एंड विद इन ट्वेल्व मंथ्स वी हैव टू फाइल अ कंप्लीट पैटर्न एप्लीकेशन कैन वी हैव स्लाइड्स एंड फोर पैटर्न ऑफिस दैट वी हैव एट कोलकाता डेली मुंबई एंड चेन्नई and as we have discussed we have to apply according to our geographical location and being from gujarat we can only file our patent application to mumbai patent office and this is the hierarchy of our indian patent office it comes under the ministry of commerce and industry under that there is a department of industrial policy and promotion under whom cgpdtm office will come that means Controller General of Patent Design and Trademark that office is available at Mumbai under CGPDTM there is a patent offices which include Kolkata Delhi Mumbai and Chennai and Kolkata Kolkata is a head office for patent further under CGPDTM it includes trademark registry it is available in all four metro cities plus fifth metro that is at our Ahmedabad also trademark registry next geographical industry in, uh, indication registry it is available at chennai only and pattern information system and national institute of Inter intellectual property rights management that is nii pm both are situated at nagpur now after looking at the pattern indian scenario let's see what is the scenario at worldwide so question comes in our mind can i get an international or say global patent answer is no there is no provision for international or say global patent but there are international treaties like patent cooperation treaty is available whose function is to facilitate the procedure to seek protection in different countries it means international filing is there but there is not international granting so this pct is framed and regulated by world intellectual property organization that is wipo situated at geneva switzerland since 1978 and as of today there are 148 member countries are there of pct and our india become the member of pct on 7th december 1998 so once you file pct application your rights get protected in 148 countries for 31 months within 31 months you have to apply to your interested countries out of this 148 if you fail to do so then in that particular territory that means in that particular country your patent rights become obsolete so you must have to file your patent application in respect to country within the period of 31 month that is provided by the process of pct now this particular pie chart indicates the patent available worldwide you can see the blue color graph i think figures are not very clear but it indicates the european countries which having nearly about 34% of total worldwide patent then you can see the green color chart it is of us it comprises of nearly about 27% of total patents of world in red color you can see the graph for japan which comprises approximately about 22% of the total world patent so that means europe is the first second is us third is japan and in the gray color it includes rest of the world means out of 190 countries of the world if we can exclude europe us and japan remaining all countries are having a total patents which is approximately about 
so we to identify the india in this 70 percent i think we have to use a microscope where we lies so that is a situation of our india in world scenario and this particular chart indicates the application file in different technology in three major patent offices the first graph for epo then jpo that is japan patent office and us pto that is us patent office again on the left side you can see the different types of the technology which includes electricity physics mechanical engineering etc you can see the second graph that is in purple color it is comparatively highest in all three patent offices and that is belongs to physics so under the physics the main uh, technology comes is software so as i mentioned previously softwares are not patentable in india but in rest of the developed world softwares are patentable and that's why you can see the maximum patents filed by the companies are in the segments of softwares and then into into the mechanic mechanical engineering domain worldwide now let's see the example of patent from india i hope again you can able to recognize the car that already we have discussed yes it is a tata nano as i mentioned ratan tata has filed 37 design application just to protect its outlook further he has filed 34 patents to protect its techniques also mechanics of tata nano that means by these way he has created very strong roadblock in front of their competitors so that's why hyundai maruti nissan or any other companies even today could not able to succeed to make a product in uh, such low cost that is on 1 to 1.5 lakh of rupees because tata has 34 patents 37 design application only for tata nano and again again it is a cheapest car of the world so by this way ratan tata has started a new concept of engineering that is known as a gandhian engineering or sometimes it is also known as a frugal engineering so by this way patent can be useful for a large mass of the public also side by side you should also protect your ipr that's what mr ratan tata has did fabulously next question come in our mind sir what is the value of patent if we ask this question to this gentleman i hope you recognize this gentleman in front of whose laptop and systems we are sitting day to night yeah the ceo of microsoft bill gates then what he replies he just smile in front of us he said just look at the facts and figures of my company if we can go to the facts and figures this mr bill gates was the richest person since last consecutively 12 years of how so how he become the richest person of the world and since last 12 years he is in the topmost position this is not my statement but this is a statement of the Forbes magazine which was published in the September 2012 Mr. Bill Gates having a worth of 67 billion US dollar and if we can introspect the reason how he can able to sustain at this level the reason is like this Microsoft has more than 10,000 employees worldwide out of these 500s are dedicated patent experts only they are not looking about the technical domain but they are looking after for patent portfolio of microsoft only and on per day basis microsoft is filing five patents in us that means per year approximately 1500 patents they are filing that means per day five patents that means five inventions they are doing per day even today like today we are sitting in front of our system within a one hour at least they have filed one patent application so this is their speed of filing a patent and that's why they can able to sustain at this level since last 12 to 13 years so to become a rich and to sustain up to this level 
Mr. Bill Gates has chosen a very appropriate way and that is to use very effectively the IPR and patent. Similar way another gentleman which I also like and I think many of you also like this gentleman because he is very innovative in his ideas. Mr. Steve, Steve Jobs, yes, who has started the company named Apple and now we enjoy his products like Apple iPhone or iPad. So no doubt today Mr. Steve Jobs is not with us. So definitely that question comes into our mind. Sir, what you have left behind you for your family? Then he said, Professor Manish, don't worry. I have 313 patents in my own name, which I have already licensed out to many companies across the world. And now those companies has to pay me the royalty on yearly basis. And that royalty is approximately in terms of millions of dollars. And after my pass out, that royalty definitely goes to my family. So I am less bothered whether my son or daughter will go to Apple or not, but they definitely will get these millions of dollars per year till my patents lives. So again, Steve Jobs used the patent and IPR as a tool to make a provision for his family. So similar way, we can as a researcher think of IPR and patent to secure our future as we are investing sometimes in many different policies like LICs, mutual funds, etc. to make a provisions of our retirement. Similar way, just like what Steve Jobs has did, we can use this IPR and patent as a way to secure our future and obviously our next generation too. Let's see the very interesting case happened recently between the two giant companies Apple versus Samsung. I hope you have might read about this particular case in the media as well as in the newspaper. So as we all know Apple has many patents on the iPhones. Samsung they have launched the very similar products that is Samsung Galaxy in the US market and the rest of the world also. So initially Apple who was the purchaser of microchips from Samsung they were reluctant to do anything about the Samsung because they have to purchase the microchips which is very important element of the Apple iPhone without that iPhone will not work and in the world only Samsung was the manufacturer of this microchip. So nearly for two years Apple tried to make a simulations of this microchip. Once they themselves ready to make their own microchip, they have filed complaints in the US court against Samsung. Okay, boss, you are misusing our patents of this smartphone. Samsung's also, they were knowing internally that okay, they are using the patents of uh, Apple only to make this uh, Samsung Galaxy. So, Obviously, they immediately they have not accepted. So the court battle was happened between Apple and Samsung. Nearly for two years, they have fought literally in the court. And at the last, court come to the conclusion that okay, Samsung is infringed the patent of Apple. And accordingly, Samsung has to pay 1.05 US billion dollar to the Apple. Obviously, Samsung meanwhile has earned more than that during this two year span, span period across the world. So Samsung was ready to pay this 1.05 US billion dollar. So story is not ending over here. So Samsung has sent the payment in terms of five big trucks in terms of 10 cents. So just like in our India, we have rupees and then 10 pesa in US us dollar and uh, then there is a cents so 10 cent coins so five trucks loaded with the 10 cents sent to the apple company and in front of that they have put and then the samsung ceo telephoned the apple ceo okay mr x we have sent our payment of 1.05 us billion dollar and our five trucks loaded with this money is in front of your gate just re receive it and just give us the acknowledgement receipt 
सो वैन एप्पल कम्स टू नो अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स के हाउ दे हैव पेड द पेमेंट दे जस्ट अगेन गेट सरप्राइज बिकॉज नाउ इट इज अ बिग जॉक फॉर द एप्पल कंपनी ऑल्सो हाउ सैमसंग हैज डी द पेमेंट सो नियरली इट टूक्स अबाउट वन मंथ फॉर एप्पल पीपल्स टू काउंट दिस टेन सेंस ऑफ कॉइन्स जस्ट टू काउंट वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव यू एस बिलियन डॉलर फर्दर एप्पल हैज फाइल द नेक्स्ट लीगल स्यूट अगेंस्ट द सैमसंग टू पे द इंटरेस्ट मनी दैट इज अबाउट मोर देन सेवन हंड्रेड यू एस मिलियन डॉलर एंड अगेन दैट पर्टिकुलर केस इज स्टिल गोइंग ऑन इन द यू एस कॉर्ट सो द लर्निंग पार्ट इज दैट कि इफ यू हैव अ पैटर्न एंड इफ दैट पैटर्न इज वेरी यूजफुल यू कैन जस्ट सी द वैल्यूएशन ऑफ दैट पैटर्न इन केस ऑफ एप्पल इफ दे हैव पैटर्न then and then only they can able to shoe the samsung and that's why they get already 1 billion and now they are likely to get remaining 700 million dollars so this is the value of patent so by this we conclude the part of the patents now we'll discuss about the second form of ipr that is about copyright so copyright is a legal term describing rights given to creators for the literary and artistic works and the kind of works covered by the copyright includes literary works such as novels poems plays reference works newspapers and computer programs that is software all are included under the protection of copyright further databases software alone that can be protected by copyrights further films musical compositions and choreography artistic works like paintings drawings photographs and sculptures architectures advertisements maps and technical drawings that you are uh, doing for your mechanical engineering so everything's are come under the head of copyright so for the copyright who should get the right so usually the author is the first owner of copyright in a work but here it is important to understand who can be an author for different kind of the uh, examples the author definition is different so we'll see with some examples so in the case of a literary or dramatic work the author means the person who creates the work so if you have drafted a one particular book that means you are an author of that book and you will enjoy that that copyrights in case of a musical work the composer who has composed the music he will get the copyright say for example ar rahman so he will get the copyright further in case of a cinematographic film the producer of the film he will enjoy the copyrights in case of the sound recording the producer of that sound re recording will enjoy the rights in case of a photograph the photographer will enjoy the copyrights and in case of the computer generated work the person who caused the work to be created that means who generates the idea that will enjoy the rights let me just elaborate this particular sentence suppose you are working in some software company say tcs so in the tcs as you are working working as an employee your manager has allotted you some particular work to be done and he also given you a set of instructions ke how to prepare a software so in this case the ideas came from manager not from your side so that's why in this case the rights of such kind of inventions belongs to the manager and not to you because in software whosoever generates the idea he will enjoy the rights not who has did the execution so in india the copyright is protected by copyright act 1957 it was initially framed in 1914 and then in 1957 which was also amended in 1983 84 92 94 and lastly in 1999 and the term of copyright is for 60 years while as we have discussed patent 
the life is only 20 years while here copyright the life is 60 years further in the copyright there is also one provision that is known as a fair use of copyright certain uses of copyrighted materi material for particular purposes are considered as a fair use and cannot consider as an infringement under the copyright act 1957 so these include the use of copyrighted material for the purpose of research or private study for criticisms or review for reporting current events or in connection with the judicial proceedings or performance by an amateur club or a society if the performance is given to a non paying audience and the making of sound recordings of literary dramatic or musical works under certain conditions so currently as i am presenting in front of you so my particular presentation is also copyrighted so i have this copyright as i am presenting this particular my work but as if you want to use this my particular presentation for your study purpose or say for your reference purpose definitely you can use you do not have to shout my permission but if you can use this my presentation for your commercial benefit so at that time you are going to infringe my rights and accordingly i can able to do infringement lawsuit against you this is just for your uh, explanation about understanding of copyright and the rights that as an author you can able to get further copyright is organized under the copyright board of india it comes under the ministry of human resource and development there is a hrd ministry under that there is a department of secondary and higher education under whom there is a chairman of copyright board and then there are the different board members that means the copyright is governed by the different ministry as compared to the patents and other forms of ipr which are protected by another ministry so now see the some very well known examples of copyright you can see on the left side the one book name is the three mistakes of my life i hope you know the name of this author yeah he is mr chetan bhagat who has wrote this book so as he has wrote this book he is author of this book so he will enjoy the copyright on right side you can see the name of the movie that is three idiots the very famous movie the who has incurred the total business of more than 300 crores of rupees in india as well as the uh, rest of the part of the world so as we have discussed in case of the cinematographic film the rights will be given to the producer so anybody can able to think who was the producer of three idiots yeah it is mr vidu vinod chopra who was the producer of this film so initially whatever the business comes it goes to the mr vidu vinod chopra and according to his understanding with mr amir khan and mr uh, director raju hirwani they have to distribute whatever the money is that comes from this particular movie but initially the monetary gain will be given to the producer that is mr vidu vinod chopra similarly in the down part you can see in my slides again a uh, very famous musicians and lyricist mr a r rahman for the slumlog millionaire he received the golden globe award so in this particular examples as he was a lyricist he enjoyed the copyrights and you and me if violates the right definitely mr rahman can show us so by this way we conclude the part of copyrights now we switch over to the next part that is about trademarks so let's see what is a trademark so trademark that is also known as a brand name in layman's language is a visual symbol which may be a word it may be signature it may be some name it may be some device or label numerals or combination of colors used by one undertaking on goods or services or other articles of commerce to distinguish 
it from other similar goods or services originating from a different undertaking so the basic fundamental is that ke here we can use any particular word signature name for our particular product so that when the our products comes into the market consumer can able to make a distinction ke this particular products from company x and this is from company y so here the trademark owner will have the monopoly over the users of that symbol and here the trademarks includes brands logos it may be service marks or it may be some trade names we'll see some examples so it will be clear to you but before that let's see what can be covered under the trademark under that any name including personal name or a surname also of the applicant or a predecessor in the business or a signature of even a person so if you feel that your signature can able to create some importance into the mind of consumers you can also able to apply for your signature to this trademark registry and if trademark is satisfy you will get trademark protection of your own signature but the condition should be that 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 signature should be reflected in the products available from your company side further an invented word or any arbitrary dictionary word or a words not being directly descriptive of the character or a quality of the goods and service that also can be covered by the trademark further letters or a numerals or any combination thereof if they fulfill certain criteria you can also include them under the head of trademarks further devices including the fancy devices or a symbols monograms combination of colors or even a single color in combination with a word or a device can be a subject matter for trademarks even a shape of a goods or their packaging marks constituting a three dimensional sign nowadays a sound marks when represented in conventional notation or describe in words by being graphically represented also can be a subject matter for trademark further we have to take a note that the right to proprietorship of a trademarks may be acquired either registration under the act or by use in relation to particular goods or service that means ke suppose you have already launched your product in the market with some particular brand name you have not registered your brand name with the trademark registry so since last say 10 years your products are available in market and now consumers can able to appreciate your products and your name now if your competitor comes in the market with the same kind of the name at that time even though you have not applied for the trademark registration to the trademark registry you can file a complaint in the law of court and if the law of court satisfy with your claim that ke you are the presidents of the competitors company that means ke you have started using of the said name or said logo before your competitors company then the law of court can able to put that computer companies in the frame of infringement so here we have to understand that for trademark it is not necessary to do the registration but it is always hel helpful to you to make your case very strong wherein trademark office will give you a, a trademark registration number along with the date so in the if court matter occurs so at that time it will be very easy for you to prove your claim further in india the trademark act was developed initially in 1940 and currently trademark act 1999 is existed head office of trademark registry is located at mumbai and branch office are available at kolkata delhi chennai and ahmedabad so again being from gujarat we can able to file our trademark application at ahmedabad only and the initial registration of trademark shall be for a period of 10 years but it can be renewed from time to time period for unlimited periods 
by payment of only the renewal fees. So, so far we have seen in case of patents, it can be live for 20 years, copyright for 60 years, but for trademarks, initially 10 years, but it can be renewed up to the n number of years. It may be 100 years or more than that. Till your products are available in the market, you can use your trademarks. Only you have to pay the, re pay the renewal fees. Here you can see the very classical examples of trademarks. Left side also there is a reliance, right side also there is a reliance. So both belongs to the company reliance, but I hope you able you can able to distinguish between these two different reliance company. Yes, the left side belongs to Mr. Amir Anil Ambani and Mr. Uh, right side belongs to Mr. Mukesh Ambani group of companies, but both can able to use the reliance word because both are brothers they have mutual understandings accordingly they can use the word reliance but you can see their symbols Symbol, symbols are entirely different than each other so that when their products are available in the market as a consumer we can able to distinguish which products belongs to Mr. Anil Ambani and which products belongs to Mr. Mukesh Ambani even this trademark having its impact in the our film industry you can see the very famous film actors in front of you right now. Yeah, the first, the superstars of our film industry, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. Before three years, the incidence happens like this. As the Mr. Bachchan's voice is very unique, everywhere in the world, uh, there are many followers of Bachchan's voice, even like me, as well as many of you are also liking the voice of Amitabh. And there are also many mi mimicry artists who are using the Amitabh voice for the, their mimicry purpose. So usually Amitabh will not mind. But in the 2010, some company used the voice of Amitabh to do the marketing of their tobacco products for their tobacco products, Gutka. So when Mr. Amitabh Bachchan came to know about this particular advertisement, he was not happy obviously because he do not would like to propagate the message in the public that okay, he is doing a campaigning of this particular good car product so accordingly he has taken a legal opinion from their legal advocates and he has filed a trademark application to the trademark registry to register his sound voice as i mentioned okay, nowadays sound mark are also can be protected so he has applied for his sound so that nobody in the society can able to do a misuse of his voice still his application is in pendent pendency state as of today he is not get a trademark protection but he likely to get a trademark protection for his sound voice similarly on the right side you can see mr Shahrukh khan Recently, in the last year 2012, he approached to the Delhi trademark office to protect his particular brand, name is SRK, the pet name we can say of Sarukh Khan. So he is now would like to come into the different consumer products and consumer market. So he would like to protect his name SRK for this particular purpose. So he has already applied to the Delhi trademark office. On downside, you can see another film actor. Yeah, and his movie, Burfi, came in the September 2012. So many of you might have seen this particular film. In this film, there was a one particular song. Papa ne Murphy wala radio chalaya, mama off hui. So here this in this particular songs the word used was murphy radio so murphy is a very well known brand of radio in europe and the meaning of this particular song was like that okay, when papa has started this particular murphy radio then mama off means mama was dead after the starting of the radio so accordingly this murphy company when come to know about this particular songs before the launching of the film that was on 14 September on 10th September they had given a call to Mr. Anurag Basu who was the director of this film 
कि मिस्टर बासू यू हैव यूज अवर मर्फी नेम फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर सॉन्ग्स एंड वी आर नॉट हैप्पी वी विल फाइल अ लीगल लॉ शूट अगेंस्ट योर फिल्म एंड वी विल नॉट अलाउ यू टू लॉन्च योर फिल्म ऑन फोर्टीन सेप्टेम्बर सो अगेन इट इज अ वेरी बिग पैनिक सिचुएशन फॉर मिस्टर अनुराग बासु बिकॉज एंड डू यू नो वॉट दे हैव क्लेम मिस्टर मर्फी द सी ई ऑफ मर्फी दे हैव क्लेम फिफ्टी करोड़ ऑफ रुपीज एज अ डैमेज टू दिस मिस्टर अनुराग बासु सो लेट्स इमेजिन even this film was not released it was not sure how much business it is going to be incurred to mr anurag basu but before the launching this kind of legal notice came in their office okay now you have to either remove our name from the songs or you have to pay us 50 crores now songs cannot be removed because already the music launch was happened before 10 days so music albums were already available across the countries so it is very difficult to retrieve the whatever the cds and vcds they have launched and even to pay 50 crores it is a very big amount so ultimately mr anurag basu has invited the ceos of murphy to mumbai ke okay, boss come to mumbai we'll sit in hotel taj we'll try to resolve this issue by personal discussion and accordingly out of court settlement has been done whatever amount they have paid that uh, nobody was knowing but the point that we have to understand is that if you have a such kind of trademarks then and then you can able to file a infringement lawsuits what this murphy ceo has did if they have not protected their name under the trademark they cannot able to lodge a complaint and they cannot get a damage monies okay so now go to the next part of ipr that is about design so according to the definition of design act it deals with the production of a unique industrial design shape or ornamental look of an article that means it protects the artistic look or say appealing look of any article so what is the meaning of article it means any article of manufacture and any substance artificial or maybe a part partly artificial and partly natural and includes any part of article capable of being made and sold separately i will just simplify this statutory definition in our next slides but in india for design we have design act 2000 currently in the force under which it is protected so let's see what is covered under the design act so the fundamental requirement is that the design should be new or original not previously published or used in any country before the date of application of registration and the novelty may reside in the application of a non shape or a pattern to a non subject matter let's see the example so it will be clear say for example the non shape of kutub minar as you and me all know the shape of qutub minar on the topmost side it is narrow on the bottom side it is little bit broad so one cigar manufacturing company cigar that you might have seen in some movies the cylindrical shape cigar so one cigar company come to know about this particular shape of qutub minar and they just apply their logic they okay, suppose we make our cigar in a shape of qutub minar what is advantage so they ultimately come to the conclusion that the advantage to the consumer is that the narrow mouthpiece there is added advantage so consumers can easily able to take the enjoyment of cigar because the mouth become now narrow and on another part it is a broad so they again would like to protect this particular shape of cigar and they have applied to the trademark office of our india so under this particular design act the shape of kutubinar shape cigar was accepted though the the shape itself is not novel but the shape is novel for the cigar because first time somebody is using this particular shape for cigar so accordingly this company get a design protection 
for their cigar and the term of design protection the initial term is for 10 years from the date of application but it can be renewed for next 5 years so in short the maximum term can be for 15 years and all four patent offices are authorized to receive and grant the protection for design so delhi kolkata mumbai and chennai so again being from gujarat we can able to file our design application to mumbai patent office and now you can see some examples for design ipads iphones manufactured by the apple company so they are protected by the different types of the design protections already we have seen the examples of tata nano wherein mr ratan tata has protected tata nano with help of 37 different design applications now we switch over to the next form of ipr that is geographical indications in short known as gi so geographical indication signifies the name or a sign used in reference to the products corresponding to the particular geographical area or somewhat related to the origin like town region or a nation thus geo geographical indication grant the right to its holder that acts as a certification mark and shows that the specified product consists of some qualities and is enjoying a good reputation due to its origin from the specified geographical location. So name itself suggests GI indicates some kind of the geographical location. We will see some examples so it will be clear. So by and large it will boost up the exports and promotes economic prosperity of producers of goods located in particular geographical territory. And the key features of GI includes in India, we have geographical indications of goods Act 1999, which has come into the force with effect from 15 September 2003. And this geographical indication registry is considered under the CGPDTM and this office is located at Chennai. So we have to apply to Chennai to get this GI protection. But as an individual, we cannot able to file a GI, but an any association of persons or a producers or organizations or authority established by or under the law can only able to apply. So GI cannot be given to any individual person or individual entity, but it is given to a group of association of individuals or a group of association of any industry. And the registration of GI is valid for initially period of 10 years and can be renewed from time to time for the further period of 10 years each till such products are available in the market. So this particular production of GI is again we can say having a n number of years just like a trademarks which can be renewed for n number of years till the products are available in the market. Similar way GI can be re renewed for n number of years till the products are available in the markets. So let's see the examples of GI. So there are two categories of GI. One category, GI with geographical name. Say for example, Darjeeling Tea, Kolapuri Chappal, Kanchipuram Silk Saris, Nagpur Orange, Bikaneri Bhujia, Agrika Petha, Tirupati Laddu, Kashmiri Pashmina, Kachi Shal, etc. are the examples of GI. So you can see Tirupati Laddu. I hope many of you might have visited Tirupati temple and enjoyed this particular delicious laddus also. So these laddus are very famous in South India. So what was happening previously, okay, the sweet manufacturers from Chennai, from Hyderabad and other part of the South India, they are manufacturing this laddu in their own shop and selling under the, under the name of Tirupati laddu. So, what was happening because of this? When we purchase this laddu, say from manufacturer of Chennai, within a few days, this particular laddu become perish. And we blame to the temple that okay, now the Tirupati laddu, either test is not good or it become perish immediately and like, like likewise so on, the problems were coming. 
and the complaints were given to the tirupati tirumala devasthanam trust who is regulating this particular temple and when they sought some legal advice how to protect this particular our laddu then they come to know about the knowledge of gi and accordingly this tirumala tirupati devasthanam trust have applied to the gi authority at chennai then chennai authority look at their particular application and they found that this tirupati laddu having a some unique test unique flavor so just to distinguish this laddu from rest of the laddus it should be protected and accordingly the gi protection is given to tirupati laddu so then onwards this case happened in 2011 so after 2011 no manufacturers from south india can able to use the word tirupati laddu they can manufacture the laddu in their own shop they can sell by different name but they cannot use the word tirupati laddu because that indicates the laddu should be manufactured from tirupati region only so that only this particular religious trust as well as there are 15 to 20 shop sweet manufacturers are there in tirupati region they can use this tirupati laddu for their products but no one else can use the said word tirupati laddu so this is the help of the gi protection so that one side as a consumers we will get the right product and on another side the organizations like this particular religious trust will get secure their particular authenticity also so by both way from consumer side and from the association side it is a win win situation further another group of ga includes gi without geographical name example like basmati rice alfonso mango kesar mango etc as you know from saurashtra region talada gir the kesar mango is very famous there is a large export of kesar mango in rest of the world us uk everywhere so the same problem was happening with the kesar mango there are many mango manufacturers from valsad region from maharashtra region they are selling their mangoes under the name of kesar mango and that's why again when we purchase such mangoes from the market we blame that can now kesar mangoes are not up to the said quality do by paying 100 or 150 rupees per kg we are not getting appropriate products so we are blaming kesar mango but actually such mangoes are manufactured not from talada gir but they are from different region so similarly in the last year the group of farmers from the talada region they come together they form one association and they also apply to the chennai office and accordingly the chennai gi office has given gi protection to kesar mango so since last year 2012 may kesar mango comes under the head of gi so no manufacturers from valsad or maharashtra they can able to use the word kesar mango because now kesar mango is protected by gi and only the talada gir farmers can use its name so now whatever the mang- kesar mango is available in the market that we can ensure that okay, they are definitely from talalagir region so after the gi let's see the next ipr that is semiconductor integrated circuits layout design so let's understand what is the meaning of semiconductor integrated circuits so that means a product having transistors and other circuitry elements which are inseparably formed on a semiconductor material or an insulating material or inside the semiconductor material and designed to perform an electronic circuitry function i hope who uh, who so are from ic or ec branch you can easily able to understand about the semiconductor circuits and the layout design that means semiconductor integrated circuits having a particular layouts wherein the transistors and other circuitry elements and includes a lead wires connecting such elements and expressed in any manner in inside this semiconductor semiconductor integrated circuits so let's see the example so it will be clear so this particular provision is provided under the head of semiconductor integrated circuits layout design act 
and but under these act only the layout design can be protected and it should possess the criteria like originality distinctiveness and capable of distinguishing from any other layout design and the registration of this layout design is valid for term of 10 years from the date of filing of application so here you can see the examples of layout designs you can see the different kind of the cross connections between the circuits so circuit itself is not protected but the layout design which is important for the functionality of the circuit that is protected under this act and this circuit as you know can be useful in any kind of the electronic device like calculators computers etc so layout design can be protected under this head next step is plant variety and farmers protection right act it is covered by the protection of plant varieties and farmer farmers right act 2001 and came into the force from 20th february 2007 so under this a new plant variety shall be registered and it it conforms to the criteria of novelty distinctiveness uniformity and stability it also provides right to the farmers to show reshow exchange share or sell his farm products including the seed of a variety protected under this act let me just elaborate this particular section what was happening before when this act was not existed multinational company li like monsanto which came out with their biotechnological driven differences like bt cotton through which the crop production can be increased up to 5 times or 10 times but what techniques this monsanto like companies were doing they are making the seeds in such a way that once these seeds are grown in the farm definitely for that particular farmers will get the products but the they cannot able to re-soil the same seed because these seeds are genetically modified and they are modified in such a way that okay, they can able to produce the products for one season only for next season farmer has to purchase a new seeds from the company side so what is the situation okay, even the seeds which are grown from the farmers own farm they are useless so farmer has to again purchase the new seeds for each season so just to make a win win situation from the company as well as farmer side government has come out with this particular act wherein farmers can able to re-soil their seeds in their own farm or they can able to sell also which was not happened previously and on other side companies like monsanto can able to get a protection under this particular act so that the no other companies can able to come out with the same genetically modified strain so that strain get protection by under this act so companies right also get protected on another side farmers right also get protected so the objective of this act includes to recognize and protect the rights of farmers further to stimulate the investment for r&d in agricultural sectors so that a company like monsanto and any other companies can also able to do the investment for r&d and further to facilitate the growth of seed industry in the country so now we come to the last part of ipr that is trade secrets so unlike other forms of intellectual property the trade secrets are essentially internal instruments and the responsibility for their protection remaining with the owner of the secrets even they are not disclosed to any government authority and they are totally we have to keep it confidential so currently the trade secret is covered by the contract act 1872 recently the department of science and technology they come out with a draft of new innovation act 2008 but bill is yet to be passed from the assembly so under this new innovation act 2008 it also uh, protect the trade secrets and the life of trade secret is unlimited till the date you can able to keep it secrets so it is up to you how long you can able to keep it secrets so we'll see 
the further examples of trade secrets and rest part of IPR in our next session. Thank you.